welcome to this, the next episode of Wasting All the Time, Level 3. My name is Dave, and I will be your host. Joining me for this episode are two of my three cohorts, Cody. <gasps> oh my god. And John. Um, oh, oh, surprise, it's me. <laughs> I am surprised. Surprised. S- from the Latin serp, meaning up, and rise, meaning uh, also up. <laughs> up. <laughs> uh, you know. read my mind. Thank you, dude. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> this is an improv comedy podcast, and we will each of us be bringing a segment that will inspire improvisatory shenanigans, and mm. then we will wrap things up. I'm going to kick things off with a segment this week wherein I talk about science. And uh, in order to know what it is about science that I have to talk about, I have to you know, spin this little wheel of uh, digital topics and let it tell me what's going on. And of course, I will be talking about the planet Venus. That rhymes with Venus flytrap. Get ready to learn because it's science Science time time with with Dave. Dave. Well, uh, there's another uh, rocky planet in the solar system that uh, is our friendly neighbor. It's the one just closer to the sun than us it's uh, approximately the same mass uh in, th- in fact that's why people call it earth's twin um and, but you know what it's not actually all that similar anymore maybe we were born twins but uh nature versus nurture means that it's a hellish place with a super high atmospheric pressure Uh, Tell us about Venus. (laughs) (laughs) It rains uh, like acid and shit and um, uh, greenhouse gases have run amok uh, and uh, Russian lander took some pictures and sent them back before it was destroyed uh, a long time ago and a lot of people don't know that and you can actually see pictures taken from the surface of Venus which is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> man, I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. Um, well, you're not, but we're we'll deal with that in a moment. Um, how did you get here? I thought this was the line for corn dogs. Okay. Um. So the line for corn dogs is um. Well, what is a corn dog, please? Um. It's an- this is how far you are from the line from corn dogs. I'm unfamiliar with the concept. (laughs) It's like a, you start with a hot dog. You jam some wood into it. And then you roll it in batter. Still lost with me. You with me? Still lost. Batter. Are we on? Okay. Um, remember nobody doesn't like Sarah Lee. So what is a dog and why is this one hot? (laughs) Oh man. Um, do you remember meat? Meat. <laughs> like the thing that you're made of? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like that. You eat yourselves? Some of us, if you take a rib out. But no, hot dogs are made of meat from other animals. And you like animal humans are animals. There are other non human animals. Remember? So, uh, so there's different kinds of meat beings. <laughs> yeah. Some of them have more legs than us. Okay. Cool. And um so legs are a thing you have. Yeah, do you do you not? You're just a very well, impressive video screen. I'm w- this is actually me. I'm a, a being of energy. Um, wow. Okay. What? So do you have a corn dog? Can we start there? I think we tried to start there and, and, 
Hey, hey, uh, what seems to be the hold up? Uh, yeah. So this uh, meat guy was looking for a a corn dog, and oh, yeah. somehow ended up here. That's yeah, what I got no, line for. That's the building next door. You have to go through the airlock. Um, you have to forgive Tony. He's been to all the trainings. He knows all the same things as the rest of us. He um, just is needlessly obtuse. But welcome to <laughs> Venus. Okay. So I should just open this door right here and step out side through the airlock through the tunnel. You'll want it, to branch off. You want to uh-huh. keep to the right. Gets to the exhibition building next door. This is like Venusian accountancy and. Stuff like that. So, you guys work with Excel sheets? I don't know. Do you know what an Excel sheet is? <laughs> I don't it's think green. he knows what an Excel sheet is. Looks like an X. <laughs> that little. Okay, now I'm. Now I'm really concerned. What was his name? Tony. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bill? Tony. Yeah, Bill. Um, sidebar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll just wait here. I guess. That uh, that airlock just leads to open outer space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, if no, not if he goes left, but if he keeps right, like I said, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, he's a meat being. They can't survive in the vacuum of space. I'm pretty sure that was yeah. That's so <laughs> kind of crazy that they came here. <clears throat> do, do you guys want one? I can I can bring you one. Oh yeah, that'd be great. I would love one. Wait, wait, so you're just going to, like, kill him? Yeah, he came into the accountancy exhibit asking for whatever the thing was that now I'm going to pretend like I don't know. <laughs> what, I, I, it was like a corn dog. I'm still unclear on the concept. You know what a corn dog is? <laughs> well, yeah, because he said it was like a a a dog that you get hot and yeah. there's a batter. Yeah. They have them at their exhibitions all the time. The meat creatures? Do you guys want mustard or ketchup? Uh, whatever is customary. <laughs> yeah. No, I, if I'm remembering the training properly, they put a dog into oil. And they cook it. Okay. And they assault it and they batter it but why do they end up here tourism you know we need the jobs but how do we get jobs if we just kill them when they come here we have jobs until they find out (laughs) bud light okay for you guys bud light yeah 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 flower i love flowers (laughs) ding (laughs) <laughs> it was such a good transition to be like i took the training <laughs> I, sorry dude i feel like there was something you were trying to lay down and i was not getting it like yeah no sorry right. i came in and i totally like recontextualized your behavior okay uh thinking that it was it's entertaining that oh uh, that i'm just fucking with him yeah basically. Oh, okay to make it more about that as opposed to and you know not knowing what common objects to us are yeah. right i see okay but then i i feel like i like i shifted that dynamic and then didn't propel it oh okay I, so it was more destructive than constructive i think it it, it felt like it rolled back around because when i was like you know the kind of trite i go i was lying for corn dogs and john going what the fuck is that being like <laughs> this oh we're sending about far future it's so far future this colony's been separated da, 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 da. and then when dave shows up and goes you know exactly what that is <laughs> we reset this to me like it's a fucking fair it's a fucking state fair on oh, venus interesting oh, okay and, and this guy's like going where are the corn dogs and john's going like this is the oh we're on the uh, colony of venus and we're just trying to this guy's annoying so we're just gonna kill him <laughs> I, that, the thing that, is like i'm getting such a really strong sense of deja vu where i'm Pretty sure I've pulled this same kind of move before oh, with really? similar results. Yeah. But you know, I had fun. Shit. Yeah. 
it was fun. Well, I had fun. No, oh, well, I had fun. I mean, that, I just, that's fucking improv, isn't it? I just felt like I disappointed you, Dave. No, sir. No. Okay. No. I disappointed myself. Oh. Per usual. Sorry. It's I fun sl- in here. I will <laughs> slap you in the dick. Would you? I will drive over there and I, just I, give you. I told you I don't have Venmo. <laughs> all right that was science time with dave and now i'm gonna hand things over to my good bud john well this week i uh, picked a game i don't know how long it's been since we last played it it feels like a while and i hope it's been a while so um i'm gonna going to do it anyway. Um, and it is called calling in sick. Oh. Uh, so going to go, go around and this is just people, uh, calling into, um, their, uh, you know, place of business or, you know, whatever responsibility they may have and explaining that they will not be there because they are sick. Hey boss. Uh, I know that I'm on the schedule to work the front counter at the accountancy exhibit uh but i you know how i talk to scientists sometimes and um one of them told me that even though we refer to ourselves as venusians um technically like linguistically speaking the proper term is venereal and i really just need to um take some time to uh really take that in and um i don't think i can see the public right now that makes me want to throw up (laughs) okay bye listen okay madam president i'm so sorry i know i was supposed to be there i was supposed to have your cue card notes i was supposed to have your speech notes i was supposed to have everything and and it's i have it i do have it i just i can't i can't be there to give them to you i uh there's something in the water. I am, I am to use a, to use a political term. I am, um, I'm exhibiting an exodus of growth. If you know what I mean, it, there, the population is expressing their discontent. The voters have rebelled. The, this, the, the, the city plumbing is in need of funding. Um, so I can like email them. I can send. Good luck. Hi, this is, uh, president Kipper. Um, just calling the say that uh, I'm going to have to cancel that speech I was going to give. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, just not, not feeling well. I think there's something going around. Um, uh, it's, uh, like, uh, Q carditis, um, Q carditis, Q carditis, something. I'm, I'm not sure of the pronunciation exactly, but, um, so I know that this was going to be big for you, the American people, but, um, I'm not going to be able to, um, to attend. So, um, in the meantime, um, the vice president has volunteered to uh, do a little uh, little tap dance for you. Um, he's it's one of his special talents. We picked him picked him for that. Um, so, um, without further ado, here is Vice President. Um, uh, oh, shit, um, Vice President. Shit, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Well, what the welcome that warm <laughs> who needs dancing <laughs> hey boss uh, i'm not gonna be in today i know that um i know that you had said that you were gonna send me to training uh on account of me putting all of the presidential support functions into one person who could just not be there and but i don't want it so i'm feeling ill Bye. Listen, I'm going to assume that no one else is listening to this because I'm not, I'm not really sick, but no one 
No one has showed up for the venereal exhibit here. And I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I don't know what you want me to. I don't know when you were talking to these people about, about gases, about corn dogs. What, what am I? I'm, I'm a stage manager. I don't, I don't perform. I make sure shit is done. So until we can get somebody here to talk about how the brave venereal pioneers landed on the surface and started mining in the hot, toxic gases of the venereal atmosphere. I, I, I just, just, just put me down as I have chlamydia or something. I don't know. I got to go like the, just get someone in here and I'll be there. And we can talk about fucking throwing tourists out airlocks uh, until then join your own. Uh, hey there, boss. I, I'm, uh, I came down with something that's uh, really, really kicking and fighting inside of me. Uh, I was at the exhibit over the weekend and I think one of the heated canines didn't agree with me. It was a little suspicious. And, uh, well, it's got given me the galloping gollies, if you know what I mean. And, uh, so I'm just kind of hanging around here at home watching the TV and uh, trying to rest up, get better so I can be back, uh, do surgeries again soon. God, you know what? It'd be nice if we had a vice president who could actually dance. Anyway, I got to go. Why? Hey, boss, it's me. I'm just calling to say that I'm, uh, you know, um, you know how sometimes you go out onto the the venereal field and look out at the vast wasteland and see the just <sighs> mounds of corpses of the first pioneers still out there in the vacuum wasting away under the under the uh the acid rain but holding on somehow because they're in those weird rubber suits that never decay even though the contents are long long liquefied and um you just get this this sense of overwhelming ennui um knowing that you know you could have been there to to actually see them die and you're never going to see that. And it's just, you know, these things that you miss in life. So anyway, that's what's going on with me. So I won't be there at the hot, at the corn dog stand today. Sorry. Vice president. Shit. Vice president. Shit. You know, it's pronounced Shiate. And I am sick and tired of being introduced as fecal matter. So I will not be doing the sun will come out tomorrow tap number. You can get Secretary of State Craphole to do it for you. Hi, this is uh, Secretary of State uh, Cropole, uh calling. Um, uh, just confused by this uh, this uh, uh, directive that uh, came in uh saying you want me to do a a long form uh solo ballet number uh my understanding is that uh, you were briefed on the fact that my special talent is the bongo drums uh <laughs> so um i'd be happy to uh uh to play on the bongo drums for you um in my capacity as um secretary of state uh, however, uh, I would not be able to contribute a uh, uh, a long form solo ballet routine. Uh, so, therefore, I um, I will have to uh, respectfully uh, decline uh, being present at this uh, function. Um, please tell the uh, the widows and orphans that um, I send my regrets. Um, this is. Ted, and I'm calling to resign from the ballet. Uh, I know that we've had a conversation about this already, uh, and your reluctance to stand up for what's right uh, has caused me to need to tender my resignation from the Venusian ballet, uh, effective immediately. Um, bongos have no part in ballet. No part, sir. I bid you adieu. 
I don't know what the fuck you expect me to do, boss. I, I can't play no venereal bongos. It's not happening. I can I can play like the the crab guitar or the you know the <laughs> I can clap if and you want. But nah, fuck that. Ding. <laughs> Oh my god! <coughs> <laughs> so that was another one where I uh, I forgot that I had the bell. <laughs> I was having a blast. It, Holy it, shit. it actually was very fun. Uh, it didn't. It didn't need to end, but it just uh. <laughs> ending on the phrase "venereal bongos" is maybe <laughs> some of the greatest mm. comedy I've ever been a part of. <laughs> mm. Episode title. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to lie. I'm very, very pleased that I started with venereal bongos as a music setup and went, I don't know what you want. I can clap. Uh (laughs) That was perfect. That's probably where the ding should have come. (laughs) That had some fucking life to it, Mm, yo. (laughs) Yeah. Oh. I always love when when we do that and it builds a story. Yes. Um, uh, yes. Me too. The, the 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 step out type games are so fun, but when they have those that level of callbacks and depth mm. and fucking lore at that point. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, uh-huh. that was my segment, and then that was John's segment. Mm-hmm. And if you are uh thinking ahead you know if you're listening to this all uh murder mystery and trying to solve things uh, along the way pick up the clues avoid the red herrings etc well then you know that it's time to end the show no it's time for cody's that's segment. fair <laughs> cody. so you said end the show and people started cheering and then my theme song played and they went, hmm, okay, mm. okay. Uh, we'll take our yeah. Metamucil. <laughs> I have brought uh, a variation on a segment that we've done before. Uh, as you as you probably know, I'm a huge fan of, of uh, I guess we're called Step Out Games, where if you were had like a, a, a theater where people sat in seats and were physically present, we'd be in a line on a stage and we'd step out one at a time and do things. So it's where step out games. So this one is called um, I Like My Lovers. And uh, it's I Like My Lovers. Like I Like My Blank. I'm going to get some random nouns since we don't have a live audience and everybody tied up in my basement is gagged so they can't give suggestions. I'm going to get random nouns. I'm going to get I Like My Lovers and we're going to give little little lines. Uh, So to start off, I like my lovers like I like my personal trainers. I like my lovers like I like my personal trainers. I want to pay a premium. (laughs) I like my lovers like I like my personal trainers. Sweaty and yelling at me. Mm. (laughs) I like my lovers like I like my personal trainers. Uh, Always telling me one more when I really want to be done. I like my lovers like I like my personal trainers. The whole point of it is that they know way more about this than I do. (laughs) I like my lovers like I like my personal trainers. I'm going to be sore in the morning and I'm going to like it. (laughs) I like my lovers like I like my personal trainers. Um, Someone has to motivate me towards maximum effort. I like my lovers like I like my personal trainers. Someone to keep me safe on all the equipment. (laughs) (laughs) I like my lovers like I like my personal trainers. Somebody who knows how to use all those ropes and pulleys when I have no idea. (laughs) Just just Dave's but worse. (laughs) I like my lovers like I like my personal trainers. I want to be able to like Get them as a bonus for joining the club. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get another fucking noun here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like my lovers like I like my blood. 
I like my lovers like I like my blood. Oh, positive. God damn it. <laughs> I like my lovers like I like my blood inside me. God damn it. How did you know both know what I was thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I like my lovers like I like my blood. If they hit the floor, something has gone wrong. <laughs> Fucking mm. blood? Really? Yeah. I like my lovers like I like my blood. Gives me life. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry in advance. I like my lovers like I like my blood. In vain. Mm. <laughs> I like my lovers like I like my blood. Wrapped up in a sausage casing. Oh my god! <laughs> I like my lovers like I like my blood. Well read. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Let's get another one here. I like my lovers like I like my math problems. I like my lovers like I like my math problems. I should be doing you on the table, but I'm ignoring you all night. <laughs> See, the problem is I don't like math problems. Uh-huh. Don't either. I thought the first one was bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe we skip that one and go to another one. I like my lovers like I like my baseball. Surprisingly popular in Japan. <laughs> I like my lovers like I like my baseball. I like to cover all the bases. <laughs> I like my lovers like I like my baseball. Somebody's going to be gripping some wood. <laughs> I like my lovers. Like I like my baseball. We just go hang out. So, you know, spend the day, eat a corn dog. Have a good time. <laughs> I like my lovers. Like I like my baseball. Someone's going to be catching a fly ball. <laughs> I like my lovers. Like I like my baseball. If somebody's not covered in tobacco spit by the end of it, we're doing something wrong. <laughs> I like my lovers like I like my baseball. Foul. <laughs> I like my lovers like I like my baseball. Spend most of the time in the dugout. <laughs> <laughs> I like my lovers like I like my baseball. There's going to be a hard drive until they tell me to get out. <laughs> I like my lovers like I like my baseball. A real catch. Oh, yes, yes, you are. Drop the bell. Oh, well. You really dropped the bell there, Cody. <laughs> so there we go. That uh, a little bit of chaos was. <laughs> I like my lovers. Mm. I hope you either enjoyed it or were very drunk or very high or both. <laughs> Hunk Safely. or drop. Yeah. Hey, that was the show. Thanks so much for <laughs> listening. If there was anything about this episode that you liked in particular, please let us know about it by going to wastingallthetime.com slash vote. Because at the end of the year, we take all of those submissions. We, you know, apply science, data science, and also very subjective uh, input um, <laughs> to uh, determine which were the top. 10 scenes of the year and as we are coming up towards the end of the year uh the more submissions the merrier so please wasting all the time.com slash vote yeah please submit to us submit obey <laughs> what is that i forgot the name of that aunt. oh you're thinking of they live the john oh. carpenter movie no 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 the 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 obey it was like a t-shirt thing for a while oh yeah yeah which is referencing they live, I believe. No shit. I believe so. Yeah, the brand's name comes from the 1988 movie They Live, which features subliminal messaging that uses the word obey to control humans. The fucking irony of that shit. Yeah. Anyway, submit to us. Haha. I like my lovers like like, like my online submission forms filled out. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Until you know next. What's sad is that's actually probably the best one we did tonight. You should listen. <laughs> like I didn't show up to be attacked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was it. Thanks for listening. I have been Dave. I, I have been Cody, and I fucked it up. 
What's funny is you actually were pointing at where I am no. in our configuration. And it took me a while before I realized that that's what you were doing. Um, <laughs> uh, because I am John. And we wasted all your time. Thanks ever so much. Butts. Good night, folks. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, an improv comedy podcast. If you enjoyed the show, be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts and Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. If you really enjoyed the show, support us at patreon.com slash timewastepod or go to wastingallthetime.com. 